All right, welcome back. So far, what we've been doing is we've been running Docker commands. We've been building our code on to GitHub Action. And uh, in the last session, we were able to fix our Docker push issue. Now what we're going to do is since we have built the image, we have built the code, it's time to deploy the code onto an actual cluster. Now this would be an Azure Kubernetes cluster. Uh, I'm going to show you also how you could just create a cluster within a few seconds. And then in upcoming session, we I'm going to just use an infrastructure as a code and then show you how you could just uh, using the GitHub action, uh, you could create and configure Kubernetes cluster. In this session, what we're going to do is we're going to run a bunch of steps. Uh, we are going to use, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to try to log in into our Azure account. So I've already got an Azure account. It is not necessary you to have uh, only Azure account. You could use uh, GKE, DigitalOcean, AWS, whatever cloud provider you have, what matter is you should have access to some sort of cloud provider. All right. How do you, how do you run AZ command? First thing first, what we want to check is we want to check whether it has certain uh, AZ commands or not. It's an Azure CLI tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use the name and I am going to run az command and if i type in run and then start doing as the account show or az account group list i i should i should it should give me an error that az command is not uh, it, it cannot log into azure yet so what i'm gonna do is i just gonna do and get add get commit hyphen m run az command get push all right as soon as it is done i'm gonna go back to my get all right so as soon as it got started within few seconds it got failed because if you look at over here az login uh, is is not set up so we need to first set up the login how do you do it uh, remember uh, if you want uh, before getting to the login step remember if you if you regardless of the previous step failing or not if you would like your next step to run what you could simply do is you could always use if condition with an always so that even if this one fail the next one still will be will be running regardless of the status of this particular task whether it was failed or passed all right so what we want to do is now we want to log into azure how do you do it you have certain actions in github right uh, actual in actual layman term what actions means if you go to the action um, as i showed you if you go to the new workflow you would have bunch of you've got a bunch of these actions and if you simply let's suppose you want to look for azure all right so these are pretty baked pre-built actions which has already been written by people like us and published into the community into the marketplace so that you don't have to write anything from scratch if you click on configure if you click on configure you would see that it starts with something called as name and then uses and then action and then slash the name of the action this is the name of the action this is relevant to your node.js application and version version of the action it is built by somebody who has named as upload artifact with a version tag name as tag version and version 3 similarly it is action called as azure name is web apps deploy and the version is 2 we can simply copy this and start running it for our environment how do you do it if you go back to our code editor what we are going to do is before this we're go going to use something called as again we're going to use something called as in this case login with azure so name would still be there login with azure action all right and this time we're going to use uses because we are actually using the action we're going to type in the name azure slash login and you can you know where to find it you can find it in the marketplace all of these uh, action name all right it accepts certain parameters which would be width and 
it ex parameter which it accepts is creds right put in the code braces start with the dollar and put the secret of your azure credential don't worry we're going to create it right away azure credentials and that's about it once you have done that pick up the ski over from here go back to your Azure uh, github portal go to the settings go to the secrets go to the action and create a new repository secret would be would that would be azure credential now you would need bunch of uh, parameters like client id client secret subscription id tenant id and you would define it under a curly braces so they would be client and this is azure specific completely azure specific client for aws you would have some different authentication mechanism we would need client id we would need client secret right then we would need subscription id then we would need tenant id tenant id and that's about it how do you get these values you get the values from azure portal go to your first go to your subscription copy the subscription id from here and paste it right over here within a brace rather quote separated by a comma and then you go to the active directory active directory app registration go to the app registration which i have already created copy the client id right from here paste it right over here client id then copy the tenant id paste it right over here and then separate make sure they are comma separated and then generate a secret now this is very very secret so make sure you keep it keep it really safe and don't publish it anywhere copy the secret right from here and then paste it on your value over here so we need client id client secret subscription id tenant id that's about it and as soon as i add it into over here and i come back to my code editor what i'm going to do is do git add git commit and git push and let's see if it is able to run the az login successfully or not starting the job building the job and then it will attempt to connect to azure now there has to be some mechanism between github action and azure to talk to each other right and this is the this is the authorization or authentication method uh, which we are using so it's trying to log into with with azure action uh, and it has been able to successfully log in and that's why we have something called as all the details coming over here subscription details uh, what are the resources we have and whatnot and then it will be able to run all the gradle build step in the next session what we're going to do is we're going to create a kubernetes cluster and then we are going to deploy our application onto the cluster so stay tuned i hope this was informative thank you